So I completely forgot to record an intro this morning like I was planning on doing, but hi. Here I am, it's now 3.25pm and uh, we're starting another vlog. We're starting one today because I have a bunch of days off work, which I'm super excited about. I decided to take some extra time while we had the public holidays for Easter coming up. And so yeah, I've got a couple of extra days off and now I have a full eight days off from today, which is Wednesday, until next Wednesday. So that's fantastic. So I thought I would bring you guys along for some fun stuff that we've got going on. <laughs> I don't know what else is going to be happening throughout my week, uh, but a couple of my family members are down visiting, and that is because we're going to Hamilton tonight to the musical, uh, which is super exciting. It came to Brisbane, uh, and although it will be very difficult not to constantly compare it to the original, it's hopefully still going to be a lot of fun. So we're going to go to that tonight. We also went out for dinner last night to a lovely Indian place. They had some really del delicious curries. So we filled up on those last night and then this morning we have been to the Australian Geographic exhibition. I think it's called Our Country 360. If you follow me over on Instagram, you will have seen some of my story and my posts about that. But it was a super lovely experience, really immersive. Uh, it had a bunch of videos projected up on the walls all around us. You could walk around and just really enjoy the experience. They had the sound effects of the birds and the waterfalls. They also had some projections on the ground. So there were times when I was standing basically on top of a shark uh, and some cracking ice. There were some really fantastic moments and it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it would definitely go back and see that one again if I had the time and money. <laughs> I was going to sit here while I was doing my intro and try to curl my hair. I thought that'd be a nice fun little experience, but sadly it seems that my curler is in fact broken. It doesn't seem to be turning on when I plug it in. So I don't know, maybe I will try to use the straightener to do a curl, but I, all of my hair appliances are quite old and not super high quality and I also just don't have a lot of skills and experience with doing anything with my hair. If you saw my last vlog you will have seen my lovely hair dryer which is absolutely spectacular. Luckily I did wash my hair this morning so I don't need to do any blow drying thankfully. <laughs> but I might try to give it a curl. I'm gonna put on some makeup, put on some nice clothes. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram you also probably will have already seen some of the photos and stuff that I will take while I'm at Hamilton tonight. And we're also going out for a lovely dinner at a fancy French restaurant. Hopefully I remember to take some photos and videos of that while we're there. <laughs> Alright, I will chuck some videos on in here of some, some Hamilton and some dinner hopefully. Uh, and I will try to catch you guys again tomorrow. Good morning. It is now Thursday morning. I just wanted to give you a quick update. Hamilton last night was absolutely amazing. Uh, I don't really, I don't think I took a single video while I was out, uh, so I will try to chuck a couple of the photos I took up. I didn't even really get a good full length photo of me. I took one in the mirror, but of course my mirror is just absolutely covered in cat hair, as is most of my house, thank you. Reginald. I'm headed out for breakfast this morning with my family before they head home uh, and I've actually got a pretty busy day. I've got a couple of meetings which sounds weird because I'm not actually going to work but I've got a couple of meetings. One about a job, uh, one about my assignment and I'm also just realized I'm supposed to get another video filmed today to be uploaded on Saturday so we're gonna see how that goes. Hopefully I can get all that done today. I definitely have to get the meetings done because they're scheduled in and I'm definitely going to breakfast because I am dressed and ready to go. But I did want to share my outfit today. Ta-da! Turns out I have no idea how to get a good video footage of my entire body on a horizontal. But absolutely love this skirt. It is from St. Frock. 
uh, which is the same place that my dress from last night is from, and it is my new absolute favourite shop. It's an online dress shop. Uh, I believe they're based in Australia because they talk about specific delivery rates for Australia versus the rest of the world, so I'm pretty sure they're Australian. Uh, and I absolutely love their stuff, so they're going to be my new favourite, and we're going to head out for some breakfast. I might even try some more matcha if they've got it, which would be fun. Tuesday morning. Happy late Easter. Uh, I didn't do much vlogging over the weekend just because my partner was home. It was a long weekend. We had from Friday until Monday off uh, all around Australia. It's public holidays. So he was home for those days and I'm just not super comfortable with the whole vlogging while he's around thing just yet. Uh, trying out a new location. It's a bit awkward. I am sitting completely sideways on my reading chair. But you know, I thought we'd try something different. So Thursday, I think, was the last time I talked to you guys. I went out for breakfast with my family before they headed off after Hamilton. Uh, it was delicious breakfast. I had some chicken and waffles. I had a iced matcha latte with some vanilla syrup, and I actually quite enjoyed it. So I'm still uh, potentially getting into the matcha scene. I haven't quite decided on that yet. <laughs> I'll try a couple more before I go out and buy myself a big bag of it. Um, I then came home. I was going to do more vlogging on Thursday, but I had a couple of appointments and I ended up getting quite uh, stressed and anxious about them. So in the end, I just sort of sat around at my computer playing some games, trying to just chill out in between those. Uh, and then by the time I finished my second appointment, uh, my partner was on his way home. So I didn't end up vlogging anything else on Thursday. Friday, again, it was a public holiday. I don't think I really did anything on Friday. I spent most of the weekend just playing The Sims and watching YouTube and other videos on the internet. Um, my partner and I rewatched The Hamilton that is on Disney Plus from the original cast, just to make some comparisons. The king we had in Australia was far and away better than, sorry, Jonathan Groff. <laughs> no offence. Uh, but our king was fantastic. There was a few little extra sarcastic moments in the Australian production. But other than that, I mostly still prefer the original. But it was really nice to go and see the performance live in person is always an added bonus. Uh, on Sunday I did actually go out, we needed a roast chicken for our pizza for dinner on Sunday so I had to go out to Red Rooster to pick up a roast chicken, had to of course, and so while I was there obviously we grabbed ourselves some lunch as well, so we had a lovely Red Rooster lunch on Easter Sunday. Uh, and then I spent most of the afternoon making the pizzas, I make them from scratch. 
So that was fun. I love making pizzas, but it's always so difficult to do them because you have to let the dough rest for three hours. It doesn't happen as often as I would like, but it is delicious when we do it. And then I spent most of the rest of the weekend again just playing Sims and hanging out. I've been in a Sims mood lately. Uh, I played some puzzle games, two-player puzzle games with my sister yesterday, which was super fun. It was called We Were Here. If you're interested, it is free on Steam. I'll, if I remember, I'll link it in the description. Pretty short. I think it took us three hours or something like that, and that was with a few <laughs> mistakes and blunders and having to restart the game because of glitches. Today I read some of my Atomic Habits out on the balcony, which is something that I want to start doing as part of my morning routine on a daily basis. I was supposed to be making myself some turkey and cranberry bagels to stick in the freezer for breakfast, but I seem to have forgotten to buy the turkey, which is one of the main ingredients in this breakfast, so <laughs> not entirely sure what I'm going to do with that. I but I do have a doctor's appointment this afternoon. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. But I've got that to do. I have to fix up my assignment for my study and hand that in. I feel like there was something else that I wanted to do and this morning I went, I should write that down uh, so that I have a list of the things that I need to do today. But then I went, no, I'll remember. The classic mistake that I always make because I definitely won't remember. There's not a chance that I will remember. I don't know why I thought I would remember. That was the other thing because Thursday got me quite stressed. I didn't end up recording my YouTube video last Thursday. So this week, last weekend, Saturday, was the first time that I haven't released a video on a Saturday in the last month and a half-ish, I think. Uh, so that's a little bit sad, but that's okay. If I had tried to do a video, it just wouldn't have been very good. So yeah, that's about it from me this morning. The weather has been so nice the last week. I'm in my dressing gown in the morning, which is fantastic. I love the cold. We have definitely moved in to the fantastic autumn weather. So it turns out I did actually buy the turkey that I needed to buy for the bagels. I'm not sure which is worse. If I'd actually forgotten to buy the bagels or forgetting that I remembered to buy the bagels. Either way, <laughs> not a great sign. Uh, so we're gonna make some bagels, but before we do that, we're going to have to feed the little baby because he is starving and he has already eaten uh, some of one of my packets of bagels. I was supposed to have eight bagels. I now have four because Reggie got into them last night. Uh, but we're going to give him some lunch before we start making that, and then we're going to make some bagels. So the internet tells me that to have a healthy breakfast, I need one of every food group. Sadly, I haven't quite managed that here today, but I'm doing better than I probably normally would. Uh, and I've been really bad with my breakfasts lately. I just haven't been eating breakfast at all. Uh, so this should be a step up in any way. Uh, but we have some bagels for our grain. Sadly, they are just plain white bagels. I couldn't see any like wholemeal bagels. I don't know if that's a thing. Uh, but we got some bagels. We've got some cranberry sauce for some fruit. Again, like probably not the best best version of fruit that I could be putting in this, but step up. We're getting there slowly. <laughs> some cheese for some dairy. Uh, and then I bought some turkey slices so you know better than bacon uh better than some other regular meats and breakfast meats so yeah i'm gonna chuck those together now we're gonna wrap them up in some alfoil and i'm gonna stick them in the freezer and then in the mornings i'll get out my toasted sandwich maker and just shove it straight into the toasted sandwich maker in its alfoil I've done it before with some like bacon and egg English muffins uh, and some ham and cheese croissants. I'm trying to come a little bit healthier here today, very slightly, not 
significantly but slightly. We're gonna try to slowly work our way up to healthy. <laughs> freezer is very full at the moment so I feel like it might be a good thing that I didn't end up making eight of those. <laughs> it also meant that I got to double up on the turkey uh, which was great. I feel like they probably would have been a bit sad with only one turkey. I did also double up on the cheese which was probably a bit on the unhealthy side but I do love my cheese and I want these to be tasty you know. I don't just want food for the sake of it being healthy. I want to enjoy my food. But if you do have any suggestions for how I can easily upgrade that to be a little bit healthier, maybe add in some veggies. I was thinking maybe some spinach wouldn't be too bad heated up in the toaster. Uh, but yes, it has to be something that can go into the toaster, into the freezer first and then into the toasted sandwich maker and still taste fine. So it ruled out a lot of salad type ingredients for me. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna clean up this mess and then, I don't know, chill out for the afternoon. Good morning, it is now a Wednesday morning, which is gonna be our last day for the vlog today. I sadly have to go back to work tomorrow. Uh, but first of all, we're gonna head out for our run. I've been really bad with my runs lately uh, So I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I might die <laughs> I guess we'll find out shortly uh, I'm actually taking my over-ear headphones today. We'll see how that goes. I haven't used them in a very long time We're gonna give those a go. It just might be a little bit more comfortable Especially with my ear infection that I've had. I don't think I even mentioned that. I have had an ear inf infection. My left ear is still a little bit blocked. Um, it's not as infected now, but apparently it is still looking a bit red. So it turns out I did die on my run. <laughs> uh, so I think along with my ear infection, I've got a full sinus thing going on. Uh, so about halfway through the run, I just really, really needed a drink of water. And sadly, I don't run through any parks or anything. I just run down the streets near my house. Uh, so I had to come home <laughs> so that I could drink some water. So I didn't actually finish that one. I'll do that same one again on Saturday and have another go at it. Hopefully do a bit better because we're getting close to the, to the end, to the expectation of doing 5Ks. And yeah, I don't know how it's going to go for me. I'm doing Catch to 5K program, by the way, if, I, if you haven't been here before, if you haven't seen that. Uh, I am doing Catch to 5k and yeah I'm up to week 6 now out of 8 weeks I'm pretty sure so getting close to the end uh, I jumped in and had a shower, washed my hair so it's nice and messy for you right now uh, but I'm going to put my bagel that we made yesterday into my toasted sandwich maker which I've just heated up then we're going to head outside and eat my bagel and read some Atomic Habits probably didn't heat it as much as I should have so I'll know for next time to put it in the toaster for a little bit longer uh, but very tasty so that's good I am also very much enjoying Atomic Habits so far I'm still in like the first chapter I have not gotten very far and I am slightly reconsidering the morning routine of sitting on the balcony because I feel like I spend a lot of it just stressing about Reggie trying to throw himself off the balcony I don't think he actually would my main concern is that he probably thinks he can do something 
that he actually can't and he's a very clumsy cat he likes to stick his head out under the railing and through the railing but with my anxiety I just feel like I'm spending a lot of the time watching him rather than reading my book so I don't know the whole idea was that you're supposed to get sun in your eyes in the morning and that's supposed to reset your clock as yes, there is still a Christmas tree up here yeah I don't know I might have to find a different way to do it I think the sun was coming quite nicely into my bedroom onto my reading chair the other morning so I might just have to try doing that uh, for the rest of today, I'm probably just going to jump on, I might play some Sims for a bit first, uh, and then I have to get to work editing this video, uh, and then I have an appointment with my psychologist at 1 o'clock this afternoon, but for now I'm going to jump in and do a few things on my computer. Alright, my partner just texted, he's actually not feeling well, so he's on his way home now, so I'm just going to wrap this video up right now if you stuck around to the end thank you so much for watching uh, my recommendation for this week is of course going to be Hamilton if you are in Brisbane and you have the time to go and see it I think it's only got like a week or two left in Brisbane uh, but I definitely re recommend going to see it if you're not somewhere that you can easily go and see a live version of it uh, it is the original cast version is available over on Disney Plus uh, which is, it's a really well recorded thing, it's made like a movie, you've got zoom-ins, close-ups, all sorts of things. Uh, and the original cast is obviously fantastic, so yeah, if you want to check that out, I highly recommend. But yeah, that's it for me today, thanks for hanging out with me for my week off. Sadly, I have to go back to work tomorrow, which is kind of devastating really, I've had such a nice week. Just taking some time off, chilling out, working on some things, working on nothing. <laughs> it's been great. Uh, but yeah, now I need to get around to editing this so you guys can actually watch it on Saturday. And yeah, I will hopefully catch you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.